And so let's take a look at uh, this problem, which is bus paper based. This question is basically on light. These are ray diagrams. And what is it that is uh, expected of us? The question reads, complete the ray diagram to locate the position of the image formed by the converging lens. And they say, instead, the characteristics of the image formed. Okay, so now we have to locate the object. So the object is the one which is here. So now, according to the rules that we need to follow for us to locate the image or to draw the image, we need to draw an arrow. Let me show you this. From the head of the object here, which will actually be direct. So this 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 ray is actually parallel to the principal axis. So the first there is among the three rules that we follow when we are drawing ray diagrams. The first one states that if any ray approaching the lens is actually parallel to the principal axis. So the principal axis is the one we are seeing here at the bottom here. This one here. This is the principal axis. So if a ray from the object is parallel to the principal axis, then the moment it touches the lens, it will actually be refracted in such a way that it will pass through the focal point. So that one is the focal point. So we have followed that rule. Then the second, the second, uh, the second row is that any ray that is that passes through the optical center of the lens proceeds straight. Proceeds straight. It doesn't get reflected. Okay. All right, so that's what we got there. So. What you need to know is the part at which these two rays converge. That's where the image is formed. So we're going to draw the line here, denoting the image. Let me, let me erase this. Okay, so now let's check this one out. What we have is the image here. Okay, so now from what we have, we can now bring out the characteristics. So this one is the object here. And that one is the image. So now when, when writing the characteristics, you simply check, you can master this, just check what you see, check out what you see in there, and then record that. So we can say mm -hmm. the image, the image <laughs> is upside down. That's the first characteristic. Uh, that's the first characteristic of the image. It's upside down then the object is upright. Then number two, we can say the image is actually diminished. Do you know what that means? What it means is that uh, the image is smaller, diminished. The image is smaller than, oh, yeah, well, smaller than the object, it's diminished. Number three, we can include the, 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 the third characteristic, that is the image is real. 
Do you know what that means? Means that it can actually be formed on the project. Number four, we can actually state the location of the image. Like so the image is formed behind the mirror on the other side of the pair. So this is the lens and that is the object. Now on the other side of the lens, that's where the image is formed. So we can say the image is formed behind the lens. And then number five, we check the position where it's formed. If this is F, if this is F here, which is the focal point, and then this is the second focal point, then equally this one is F and that one is the second uh, focal point. So we simply check where it's actually positioned. Now, there may not be that accuracy in that we, I'm, I'm, I'm not using instruments here. I'm just sketching this. Now, you check the position where the image is formed. So this one here is 2F. And then uh, arising from what I'm seeing here, I can say, okay, this is F and that is 2F. So the image is formed in between F and 2F. The image is formed in between F and 2F. If the object is placed on 2F, then the image is actually formed in between F and 2F. I think those are the characteristics that you have to bring up. Uh, so here they didn't specify, they're just saying state the characteristics of the image formed, one mark. So you can simply bring out one characteristic because you follow the marks allocated to your question. You move on to C, calculate the magnification of the lens. So magnification is actually given by uh, the height of the object over height of the image. Oh, what am I saying? The okay, magnification is given by, I don't know where my mind is, okay? okay mag magnification is given by height of the image over height of the object. So since this is this is drawn and uh, after you come up with an image, you will be able to measure this. You simply measure this and uh, you measure that. So if you measure with a rule, you find that it's, uh, let's say, two centimeters. And then this one is one centimeter. You're going to plug in the values here. I'm just saying, if that's what you're gonna find. So you have to do the measurements here. Now, we, I, I can do that because uh, I'm using a computer here. So magnification is got to, this is the height of the image, that's one. And that's the height of the object. So magnification is equal to 0 0.5 centimeters. So now what it is is if magnification is less than one, then you need to know that the image is, is, is smaller than the object. And, and, and that's, that holds true in our case right now. If magnification is greater than one, then you need to know that the image that will be formed will be larger than the object. If magnification is equal to one, then you're going to find, what you're going to see is that the object will simply of the same size, will be simply the same size as the image. Well, so that's, that, that's it that you have to learn about this. Thank you so much for watching. Still blessed.